the day guys coming at me with just a short little video today um wanted to show you uh, a little something here um we're winding down the end of the uh the season here the shows the uh all the finals are going on and stuff and i've uh, got a couple uh small shows that i'm going to be attending with the blazer here and uh stupid bugs i haven't uh i haven't charged the batteries uh, in quite a while don't don't look at me like that but anyways, um, so I don't think I've ever really showed you guys uh, what battery charger I use. Uh, so I thought I'd come at you guys with uh, what battery charger I use uh, and uh, give you guys a little lowdown on it. All right, guys, as you can see here, I use the, uh, the Stanley charger. I picked this up at Walmart for 50 bucks. I mean, you can't beat this. It's a 25 amp, uh, 75 amp engine start. Um, charger and as you can see it's charging right now right at 5.1 amps so it's only been charging for about 10 minutes so um my battery's here it's got all the indicators on it charge status um so like i said i haven't charged my batteries in a while but they were still sitting and it looks like about 85 90 percent so that's not too bad it tells me that my alternators have done a pretty good job of keeping up on some things but uh and like I said, it's got an engine start. You can actually check your alternator too, um, your battery voltage, and it's a battery. Uh, you can recondition your batteries as well. Um, I don't know if I would recommend reconditioning uh, a bank of them at one time as opposed to uh, reconditioning them individually. I did do that uh, during the rebuild uh, when I had all the batteries out. They all got uh, reconditioned uh, before I put them all back in. Um, but like I said, I picked this up at Walmart for 50 bucks. I mean, you can't beat, beat that. Um, and it's done a pretty good job here for me the last couple of years of charging the batteries. Um, with that being said, um, yeah, you just can't, you can't beat that deal. Um, this is, uh, safe for all batteries. It is safe for, um, uh, AGMs, which obviously that's what I'm charging. Um. I don't think it would be recommended to, to do lithiums. Um, never really looked into it for that. But uh, yeah, like I said, it's a good deal. Couldn't pass it up. Charging my batteries here. That ain't doing a bad job. But yeah, I mean, like I said, 50 bucks at Walmart. Couldn't pass it up. It's a decent sized charger. It gets the job done. But thought I'd check in with you guys real quick on uh, what charger I use. All right, guys, like I said, the show season's winding down. There's only going to be a couple more shows that I'm going to be at with the Blazer uh, Ford Park it for the, for the season. Um, so I'm going to be in Logan on the 20th of October, which is this Saturday. Uh, it's going to be at uh, Howard Ware's uh, birthday bash. Uh, it be a park and pound event. It's going to be at the uh, Lake Logan Dam. Uh, and then I'm going to be back in Logan on the 28th. Um, it'll be downtown Logan for an event. It's more of, of just a car show, um, but I may be able to play it some there. I don't know just yet. Um, but if you guys haven't had a chance to see it or hear it, and you're going to be in um, the Logan area, southeast Ohio, uh, on those dates, the 20th or 28th, uh, stop by, check them out, get a demo. Um, it'll be one of the last few times anybody will get to see or hear it for the year. Um, like I said before, we uh, call it a wraps, and you know I park it for the park it for the winter and uh, start doing uh, some of the little upgrades I'm going to try and do. So, as always, uh, make sure to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. Hit the bell notification uh, so you get the uh, notifications that I uploaded. Uh, also, follow me on Facebook, uh, Instagram, and Twitter. Um, all the links are provided in the description below. You guys know the routine, guys. So. Until next time, I'm out of here.